Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Honky with special guest... Gypsy Jazz Bo. With Let's Play Portal 2, The Drinking Game, Episode 2. And this one, we're advancing. Advancing the game, advancing intoxication. Oh yeah, we're definitely advancing the cause of intoxication. <sighs> definitely glad I got that glass of water. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Come here, Hugh. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. <laughs> That's what it says. A horrible oh, fuck person. You. God damn it. you aren't even testing for that. <laughs> How do you even argue with that? Yeah, I mean, what can you say to that? <laughs> Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. Science. If it makes you feel any better, uh. science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Dear God. Yeah. Well, I mean, we did kill her in the last game, so I suppose she has every right to be uh, a little peeved at us. Wait, where the fuck are the cubes? Well, there's one. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Oh, yeah. Just to remind everybody, um, we are drinking the word science comes up. Yep. Every time... Damn it. Every time that somebody in the game says the word science, we are taking a shot. So now this one... Come on, come on. Hey, there you go. That one goes there. And then, let's see, that one... Is going to be going somewhere. Where's the receptacle? It's up. It's right there. God damn it! And if I'm st if I'm making these many stupid mistakes this early, boy, just wait till we this game starts to get hard. Congratulations, <laughs> not on the test. Most I people can't emerge wait. from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. It has oh been. Oh my god! Yeah. She just called us fat. Horrible fat ass is what she's calling us. Mm hmm. Who's an orphan, abandoned by her parents. Horrible bastard fat ass. One moment. But you can see why I like Gladys so much as a, as a character. Then I can build them. So feel free to slow down and. Do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Oh, I almost died there. And, uh, boop. And, boop. I'm a retard. Oh wait, I'm supposed to drop a cube, aren't I? Where'd it go? Oh, it's right there. That's fortunate. So, this one needs to go here. And then there. Grab the cube, hop on the bridge, and this time, let's put the orange one right there. Use the cube. To interrupt the beam. The cube. Uh, have you ever seen that movie Cube? I guess you are. You know, I've always heard about it, but I've actually never watched it. It's worth it. It's worth it. I, I thought it was good. I, I thought it was very good. I mean, it, it's it, it's it's a solid horror thriller. You know. Yeah. 
Well, all the ice is melted in my uh, Jaeger cooling bath. But mine's it, it, pretty good, but I just uh, I just got mine started, so. Mm. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Whee! It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. I can. Whee! Oops. Missed it. <laughs> Whee! Grab it! Whee! There we go. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too oh expensive God. to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you are the biggest bitch. The same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. <sighs> but you see what I mean about the writing in this game? Because at the same time, I mean, she's she's being a vindictive bitch. And she has every right to be. I mean, we did kill her. Let's see what the next test is. Boom. Advanced aerial face plates. But at no, the same time. Soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. <laughs> this test is fun. Whee! Woohoo! Yeah, boy! Uh oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Dang. I was having too much fun flying through the air with the greatest of ease and not paying attention to what was going on. Yeah, I'm just now getting to see it. The stream's got a serious lag to today. Yeah, it happens sometimes, and yeah, not really anything either of us can do about it. Yeah. No, that Thank was pretty you. fun, huh? And now they drop a bunch of trash. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. <laughs> on the, uh, sometimes they're still trash boing. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. We'll try our best. Mm-hmm. And here comes the cube that we need. Boing. Boing. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. <laughs> That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You're gonna get what's coming to you. Oh, you know it. <laughs> Did you know that people More than you realize. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, that didn't startle me at all. I don't know why that went off. And do you live that close to train? Or was that that was in the, in the game. game. Okay, dude. I was gonna say your apartment oh, sucks. Yeah, man. I accidentally <laughs> fizzled that before you could complete the test. Yeah, that that I'm was sorry. part of the game. Go ahead. I used to live near train one. tracks in uh, Huntington. And uh, it was the biggest bitch, like oh, four o'clock in the no. morning. I fizzled that one too. Oh well, we have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. It's I'm a companion cube. Oh. Is that, did you see that? Did you see... Yeah. I'd like to take some time to get to know the companion cube. Well, it loves us. We know that for sure. You can tell from the hearts on it. I get feeling like that little heart uh, opens up into a cavity. Well, one of them might. Uh -huh. Shame we're playing as a female. Ouch. Okay, maybe it has a protrusion. Yeah, it's possible, and I wouldn't bet I on it. I forgot our hero is a female. Yep. Shell is, is her name. C H E L. What would be Elf. hilarious is if right in front of the gun, always on the screen, was just like a little shot of cleavage. 
<laughs> I think there have been games that do that did that. I can't really? think of any offhand, but where you would look down and you would see boobs. I yeah. can't think of any offhand, but I know that it's happened at some point. Yeah, I would never finish that game because I'd just be staring Every at the floor getting killed the whole time. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation <laughs> grill at its exit, so that you, test you know, subjects how cannot I have a smuggle test objects video game out of the ladies. test area. Yes. This one is broken. Particularly Don't the uh, take monarchs of civilization. I'm gonna be contrary because I can. Come here, companion cube. You're going through with us because we can. She said that, you know, have you noticed the little uh, glowing fields that I have to pass through every once in a while? If, oh, yeah. yeah. If you take a, uh, and there's supposed to be oh, one yeah. right here, but if you take a cube or anything like this through it, it destroys it immediately. Wrong way. It destroys it immediately. However, since that one's down, we get to keep our companion cube. And then she destroyed it. I think that one was about to say, oh. I love you. They are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. Cold, didn't she? Oh, icicles for a clit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Yes. You can't fire portals through them also. Yeah, we remember. Oh no. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. <laughs> Wait. Oh, that's right. I've got to get that uh, that cube into here to redirect the beam so that I can have the portals to actually move around. So, it sure is unnerving seeing yourself walking past in the distance. See, there's there we are off in the distance. Oh my god, I think one of these dogs just took a drink out of my ice bucket. Yeah, so? It's just ridiculous how they're all over my shit. You want a drink, guys? Hey, you want drinks? Cold. <laughs> drink? Drink? Not the egg, you're in the water. You want some? <laughs> they're like all fascinated by this new feature I'm around. Ooh, chapter three. Later on, I'm going to have to take them for a... Uh, W A L K. I have to spell it out. By the way, they know the uh, they know the word. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They go ape shit. Uh, B O N E W A L K. <laughs> read, read, read the check. Oh, you can't see the chat. Hyper just said, "Get the fuck away from my chicken." <laughs> oh yeah, Hyper. Dude, I'm telling you, they were all up in my poultry last night. Wee! It's me. Oh hey, Wheelie. I actually have it minimized but now, so um, it, it, I don't know. My computer wasn't running that great with it in full screen. Okay. Yeah, it, whenever we have the next break, I'm going to restart the mode. I'm going to restart the mode on uh, router, everything, computer, everything. Well, maybe not the computer. I was just restarting it. Yeah. Alright, guys, get away. Go. Go. You can have a drink if you want. You can drink that if you want. Right, couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. <laughs> More fat jokes. Alright, guys, go lay down. Go lay down. Here, you can get on the couch if you want. I don't care. Here, go ahead. You want a beer? Here you go. Get up there. Did you just say, do you want a beer? <laughs> no, no, no. Get up there. Uh. I'll let them get on. If, I'll let them get on the couch. So I'm gonna watch the covers tomorrow anyway. So I don't really care if they get on today. Okay. Pretty good about staying on my boat when I don't want them on there. Uh, they're good dogs. What kind of dogs are they? They're um. Well, they're mixed. Their mother is a rat terrier, and she looks pretty purebred. But they're clearly mixed. But uh, you know, my wife, before we even started dating, found them out in South Carolina where she was living. They like literally came out of the swamp 
and the mother was taking care of them. They were still nursing on the mother. Um, they were tiny. They were just puppies, and uh, she took them in. And my mother-in-law has their mother now, and we have the two siblings. So, oh, nice. but uh, yeah, they're about uh, the boys probably forty pounds. The girls about thirty-two or something. So they're not too big. They're good size for apartments. So. But they're not so little that they're annoying as shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. They're not little yeah. yappy dogs. Yeah, they're not like so tiny you have to like be afraid of stepping on them. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah. They're, they're pretty quiet. They're not like as smart as a big dog is. But, uh, you know, they're not too bad. I mean, I don't know. My, you know, our, my dog Willie, who uh, we had for ages. I mean, dude lasted until he was like 18. I remember, uh, what, I remember you talking about Willie. Yeah, he 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 was he was a little dog. He was a terrier. Like I think he may have been might have been 25, 30 pounds at the most. Yeah. But not yappy, very bright, incredibly loving. Not that whiny. Well, he he could be whiny sometimes. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yeah, that's how Most I would describe these dogs, day. all except for... If you solve this I'd next say they're test, about average Maybe dogs. I'll let you they're ride really an elevator so all the way up to yeah. the break room. Uh, but and I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. I'll take a kind, dumb dog over a smart asshole dog any, any day. Yeah, I can understand. I, I don't know, though. I, I, My experience with dogs... I, I think I really do prefer... Oh, wait, that's right. I have to go get the cube over there. I think I really do prefer um, intelligent dogs over stupid ones. Fuck well, they're guess. more interesting, for sure. Yeah, they definitely are. Now, uh, my wife's pit bull you know, that we had for, that she had for 14 years, he lived way past the pit bull uh, lifespan. Yeah, that's, that's pretty surprising. He was a very smart dog, but he was a total asshole. <laughs> I mean, he was lovable. Don't get oh. me wrong. He was lovable, but he was a total ass. And uh, he was not an that's... easy to be a dog. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, but you know what? I, I'm, I'm... Maybe they... this way? This is actually a funny story. Let me tell you. Did I tell you about this? I don't know. <laughs> passed away. Of course, my wife had it for 14 years. So, I mean, she was very upset. And... Uh... That night, like, uh, we were, like, in a bag going to sleep, and just, like, sitting there, like, I was just so down. And so I decided I'm going to make this speech to, like, remember... You're breaking dog. up really so bad. so I told him about... Can you hear me? Yeah, I, I mean, I can hear you, but you're, you're like, really choppy. Yeah, my... I'm getting it choppy on... Uh, this end, too. Like, uh... I don't know. You're being better now. No, no. Let me uh, let me do this puzzle, and we'll just end the episode, and we can do whatever resets are necessary and whatnot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The story. Okay. Yeah, I I can't I can't. You're you're not coming through as English. You're coming through as. Okay. So nothing we can do about that. Let's see. That's the blue one. So put the orange one there. Oh shit! You son of a bitch! Where'd my cube go? Um, try talking now. Maybe it's fix itself. That happens sometimes. You there? <laughs> Fuck my cube go! It didn't. It, it disappeared. Did it fall down in the crag? It should. Oh, it did. Uh, yeah. You know, there's, a, there's an achievement for completing this level specifically very quickly. I, it's a good thing that I already got it. Can you, uh, damn it. Can you hear me, dude? Yeah, was there any sciences that came up? No. Okay. She has not said the word science in a while, so. One last thing to worry about. Okay. Can I get that spot? Yeah, I don't know if it's my internet or not. I haven't restarted everything in a while, so. Yeah, I, I made sure to restart my computer before we started, but um, yeah, let, let's just go ahead and uh, finish this puzzle and then do the. I'm whole. also going directly. 
I'm also going to directly plug the laptop into the internet. That's so, always a good idea. Yeah, I'm sending it to the internet so I can do them. Yeah. So, okay, boing, boing, boing. And we're here. Well, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and end it there so that we can get whatever issues we have sorted out. This has been Your Funky Honky with Special Guest. With Special Guest. That's your cue. I know your mic's on. I can hear you typing. Oh, fine. With special guest Gypsy Jazzbuzz. Stay tuned for episode three. When, oh, you're back. Sorry, dude. It was like flaking out on me. I couldn't fucking talk. We'll get it fixed. We'll get it fixed. We'll get this shit fixed for episode three, and I hope you will see us next time.